Hello. Good morning. First, let's address the elephant in the room. My hair is black. Did I dye it black? No. This is supposed to be natural medium brown. So, yeah. I cried a lot about it already, but it's okay. Apparently, if I want my hair to be medium brown, I need to get blonde. Like an ash blonde. This is after washing it 15 times. It was a little bit darker than this. Anyways, I'm doing a 24-hour readathon. I'm reading for 24 hours, and it's not going to be straight. I'm going to sleep tonight, because if I don't, I don't think I... I will survive. So I'm basically going to be splitting it in half. I'm going to be reading as much as I can today. And then I'm going to finish the rest of the 24 hours out tomorrow. Hopefully I can get like 13, 14 hours done today. I'm going to show you my options. I also am, I'm going to stop at 10 a.m. just saying because Noah Khan is coming to Tampa and his tickets are being released today at 10 a.m. and I'm going to try to get some. I'm going to get some. It's currently 8.47. I'm not going to start until after I like show you the books, but this is you know what time it is. And I am absolutely 100% reading Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. I love Ali Hazelwood. Gonna buy her books every single time. Bonus content. I don't like Target. Oh no, there's a little spot. Bonus content means you have to peel the stickers off. I hate these fucking stickers. You know they're 20% off. This one's like hard to get off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at his tat. Love that. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna read this first, absolutely. Very, very excited very about, very about this. Been waiting, waiting, waiting for a very long time. Next option I have is Uprooted. Someone said that this reminded them of the Cruel Prince series, and that is my favorite series I've ever read. I'm very excited for this. I probably most likely will definitely read this. I like the cover. Oh no, the words are very small. All right, the next options we have. I have, I have a lot of options. I have two more options coming in the mail as we speak. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I could have not ordered books on Amazon because I have enough on my shelf that like I haven't read yet that I could choose from but I was like you know what these these books might be good too so I've ordered two books literally like an hour ago and paid three dollars for express shipping to get it delivered today <sighs> I've been wanting to read this book for a while it looks very cute and then I have tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow I ordered what did I order I ordered a thousand boy kisses I saw people crying and I for some reason decided I wanted to cry and then I ordered binding 13 so I ordered those so I have I have options definitely think I'm gonna read these two and then the other four I will choose from I guess if I get to that who even knows how many books I'm gonna be able to read I'll just start at nine I have eight minutes. Oh, also? Fuck. Shit. Damn. When I did this last time, I picked out an audiobook because... When I want to step away from, like, staring at the page, and I need to, like, shower, like, cook, I'll still be reading because I have an audiobook on, you know? So I have a bunch that I picked out this morning. I have zero idea which one to choose. I have Priest, Hooked, Never Lie, The Housemaid, Flock, Until I Get You, Does It Hurt, The True Love Experiment. I have a lot of options. What do I choose? I kind of want, like, a nice little mystery thriller. I don't know why, like, I can read spicy, like, I love spicy books, but when I'm listening, Listening to the audiobook, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I feel like I'm not alone, and it makes me uncomfortable because, like, when I'm reading a spicy book, I'm just in my head, you know what I mean? But when someone else is speaking that shit out loud, I'm like looking around, like, what are we doing? Cut the camera. I think I'm gonna do Never Lie or The Housemaid. Priest is kind of looking kind of good, though. Look at the muscles. Uh, Y'all, I've been sitting here reading the love hypothesis. Lost my page, wait. Lost my page because I was getting tickets to see Noah Khan and I got them and I'm so excited. Uh, it's not until October, but like, I'm so excited. Did I spend too much money on the tickets? Yes. Am I excited? Very. Anyway, folks, now I'm on page 49. Did I say the love hypothesis of love theoretically? <laughs> it's getting good. I just found out something that I did not think about. Like, didn't click in my head. Where can I put a camera? Okay, I have four hours left of this audiobook. We're at two hours and 48 minutes of reading so far. I got my Amazon package. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is a big ass book. What the fuck? Holy shit, I did not. I did not realize this shit was so huge. Whoa. I don't know if I'm gonna be reading that in this video, but what the fuck? A thousand Boy Kisses. Why are these books weird? They're like shiny and big. They're not like a regular paperback size. They're like a little bigger and shiny. I was not expecting that, especially for this book. Anyways, I keep switching back and forth from this book and the audiobook. I'm on page 70 on this book. I continue reading this one right now because it's getting really good. The audiobook is also good. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm just here for the ride, I guess. I don't know if I ever said I chose the housemaid. I 
I'm blushing. This is so cute. I'm on page 158. I did not think that this particular thing was gonna happen so quickly. Oh my gosh, this is so cute and I'm freaking out. Oh no. Oh no. No, what is happening? It's getting heated and I don't know what to do with myself. Things are getting intense. Things are getting really intense. <laughs> Guys, quit yelling. Quit, quit fighting. Quit it. All right, we are about to hit the six hour mark. I'm on page 214, so I'm halfway, over halfway. And it's really good. I like it a lot. I don't want to stop reading. It's good. Honestly, I'm feeling really out of it right now from reading for six hours straight, but it's good. I just brushed my teeth for the first time today at 3 p.m. I was reading, okay? Don't say anything. Six hours! I feel like I'm reading so slow. Like, how if I've been reading for six hours and I'm only halfway? I was also listening to the audiobook. I don't think I'm gonna even finish three books. I just read the Adam and Olive cameo. And I'm freaking out. I'm still late in the middle of it. But I was not expecting that to be cameo. And it, I love it. What the hell? And I put a little blue tab so it would be different from the rest. So I know it's, it's them. So if I want to go back and read it again. Oh my gosh. If you didn't know, Adam and Olive were the first book. The Love Hypothesis. This shit is fucking cute. <sighs> I just ate Subway. I don't need to shave my legs. But I'm reading so I can't. I've been, I've been rotating where I'm sitting for the past two hours. Like I'll go from being on the ground to laying on the ground. To laying up here. To sitting up here. To laying a different way up here. Like. It just is a cycle. Because my body hurts. I'm uncomfortable and my butt hurts really bad. Any way I sit, something hurts. I am about three quarters of the way done this book. I'm on page 260. It's really cute and I like it. I'm having a great time, but my butt hurts. I also feel like I'm slowing down and reading. Like I'm at seven hours and 21 minutes. For the past hour, I just feel like I'm reading the same words over and over again. Like I can't comprehend what the words are meaning. I really like the main character. Also, I love when the guy falls first. That is one of my all time favorite tropes. I'm trying to fucking fly through this shit and I'm not flying. Ugh, my ass cheeks, dude, my ass cheeks. <sighs> my bath. You know what? I'm just complaining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Why is this the cutest shit ever? <laughs> I just lost my freaking page. Oh my gosh. He just said that. Honestly, reading romances, but hello? Reading romance books really shows me how mentally unstable I am. It really shows how much I should go to therapy and how much certain things are not normal. Oh my gosh. The way that things will happen in romance books, I'm like, I would never admit my feelings. Girl, go to therapy. Anyways, I'm doing well. Uh, help. <laughs> Fucking cute. I need to stop reading romance books. Cause all they do is hurt me. All they do is cause me pain. God damn it, I hate everything. At what point, at what point is it enough? Mm. There is absolutely no fucking way in hell. I'm actually about to start crying about what this man just fucking said to her. Page 308, I think that's my favorite fucking part and quote of the book. Let me put a, let me put a fucking tab, I guess. If someone said that to me, I don't think I would survive. Anyways, back to reading about love, I guess. Ah, the third act breakup. I just love a third act conflict. Isn't it so great? The drama. Will they get back together? Who knows? Not me. I feel like I'm going crazy. I just want to fucking finish this book. I feel like I've been reading this book for three years. And like, I just want to stop reading. It's not even about the book. It's just I want to stop reading. But like, even once I finish the book, I still have to read. I feel like mush. I don't know what's going on. I can't even like see straight. Like my eyes are blurring. I have maybe 50 pages left and I just, I just need it to be over. Why am I such a freaking slow? Nine hours and 41 minutes. We're almost at 10 hours. That's a long time. It's almost seven o'clock. I'm hungry. 
Where's my phone? I feel like I should have it. It's right next to me. It is now 8.50. Yes, I was listening to Calvin Harris. What about it? I finished this book and it was great. I loved it a lot. I don't know when I want to read it yet, but I really enjoyed it. I also really feel like I relate to the main character a lot. I like Jack a lot. I just love <laughs> I loved it. I loved their chemistry. It was just really cute. The epilogue was cute, but I feel like the last few lines were a little bit like, oh. I expected more, but that's on me. I tapped. I think I'll give it, I'm between a four and a four and a half. So it's gonna be one of those, but I need to think about it more. I liked the inclusion of Twilight. Love me some Twilight. I just love her writing. I did take a little bit of an hour break. It was supposed to be like 30 minutes, but it turned into an hour very quickly. I did pause the time though. 10 hours and 24 minutes is what we're at. I would have been at 12 hours if I kept reading, but it's fine. We're just gonna just stay up a little late and read. I don't want to start another book right now. I want to go to sleep, for being honest. Like, it's my bedtime. But I want to do at least an, another hour. At least, let's just at least hit 12 hours. I'm melting. I'm gonna start uprooting. Words are small and there are a lot of words on the page, which is intimidating. Can you see the tiredness in my face and eyes? Can you see the pain? I literally don't want to read. I don't want to read. But I know if I go to sleep and I leave myself with fucking 14 hours tomorrow, I'm gonna hate my past self. woke up. It's currently 6.57. did wake up at 6.30, but it takes me a little bit to get out of bed. But last night, I fell asleep reading Uprooted. I got to page 28. I'm really liking it so far. I literally, like, it feels like I'm in an actual fairy tale. The premise of the book is very similar to A Deal with Elf King, which I didn't like that book, but only like the base is the same. I'm liking this a lot so far, but I'm only on page 28, so I don't know. I literally fell asleep reading it and had a dream that I was in like a fairy tale and it was great. I'm about to continue reading that and I'm gonna go on a run. So I'm gonna listen to my audiobook when I'm on my run. I've never done that before because you know, this is new for me running. I ended at 11 hours and 49 minutes last night. Let's start. We're almost at 12 hours. Remember how I said I was really liking this? I am bored. Just a little bored. I'm like skimming now. I might change books, but I'm gonna try to read as much as I can. I'm on page 72 now, and I might change books. Uh, but I don't wanna do that because I've already read 73 pages, and if I change books, then I might not finish as many books as I want. Whoa, I just got major deja vu. I'm bored of this book. I just fell asleep in this chair. My body hurts. I think I was asleep for like an hour. I'm at 15 hours and 37 minutes. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to look at another word on a page. It's 11 o'clock. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I'm just going to listen to the audiobook and eat and clean. I can't can't sit in the same spot and read anymore. I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm bored out of my fucking mind. You might be right, but I'm just not ready for that right now. I have to focus on keeping my nose clean. I was able to sleep really well for a while, but now my old insomnia has come back full force. I went back to work three hours and ten minutes. I'm so much effort and pull myself onto it. It's even better than when I got out of prison. I can't, I can't. I got down, down. Hold it, hold it. He sits down beside me on the car. He rests a hand on the small of my back. They cringe, cringe. How are you doing? How are you? It's been a few hours. I went to go pick up food to get a burrito and I finished the audiobook that house made and it was good. Entertaining. I kind of predicted some of the things that were gonna happen. Not all of them. I rated it four stars on Goodreads. I think it's gonna be a 3.75 though. We're at 20 hours and 39 minutes. Three hours and 20 minutes left. I have my Kindle here that I decorated. That's so fucking cute. Instead of the multiple books that I have that I bought, like physical books that I could read, I'm gonna be reading on my Kindle. I'm reading The Predator. I don't even think I really like dark romances that much. They're not bad. I just don't feel as connected, I guess, to the story. An enemies to lovers dark romance. <laughs> I 
I never filmed an outro for this video. I did fall asleep after like an hour of reading. I reached 24 hours though. I took a screenshot. Where's my screenshot? 24 hours. And no, I didn't just let the timer run for the last hour and a half. I would never do that. I would never. <laughs> no, I literally fell asleep like an hour and a half after reading again. Yeah, I was over it. I continued reading Predator, The Predator and I didn't finish it in the 24 hours, but I did finish it a few days later. What did I rate it? I rated it a three. It was fine. It's like third person. And also I skimmed, I was skimming because it was a lot of repetitiveness. Just acting. It was just a lot. It was fine. Very much like wounded, trauma filled man. I just didn't really like the writing that much, to be honest. Love theoretically was four stars. The housemaid. 3.75, The Predator, three stars. I completely forgot about Uprooted. Wow. I never finished it. Probably will eventually. It was boring me though, so. I don't know, man. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I could do this again. I probably will. Bye.